slowly towards the crystal coffin that sat in the middle of the doors. The seven doors kneeled around the coffin, their heads bowed with their hands in the air. I want Snow White to stay dead forever. No. Look at that, too. Oh, dude, baby. <laughs> He's crying. <laughs> Don't worry, it'll turn out all right. Spoiler. Hold on, Wendy, what happens next? I bet the prince kisses her, and she wakes up, and they fall in love, and they ride off into the sunset together, happy as two pirates of the pine. Oh, Pans, you spoiled the ending. Is that what happened? <laughs> exactly what happened. You must have heard the story of poor Pans. Who would have told it to me? We don't have a mother. Except for you, Wendy. Since Pans doing the story. Tell us another one, Wendy. What about an adventure instead? We haven't had a good fight in over an hour. I'm sure the pirates are itching for some sword play. No, Peter, I know your story, Wendy. Please, I like your story so much. Really? I don't know, Pink. They're all growing lazy, I think. Oh, I know you'll come with me, but it's more fun with everybody. I'm too tired. The fish pot for lunch is so good. I still can't move. She's such a good cook, Wendy. Um, you'll stay with us always. Really long time. That's a very, very long time. Yeah. Right back. <laughs> but it feels like we've always been here. I'll tell you one more story before you must go out to play. This has to be easier. As long as it's a short one, it's very long. There once was a gentleman. And Brad, you be a little boy. Uh, or better, a wee brat. Quiet. And there was a lady. But she's not dead, is she? Oh no, of course she's alive. Very much so. Now the gentleman's name was Mr. Darling. The lady's name was Mrs. Darling. I think I knew that. They were married, you know, to each other. And what do you think they had? <laughs> right, perhaps? Of course not. They had three descendants. Who's the descendants? The children, of course. So they had three children. It does sound a bit familiar. And they had a very faithful nurse, Anna. Do you like her? So far, it's a one to a circle to come it in. It is, They lived in a large house which had a splendid nursery and a large window that opened up at night to the moonlight. Yeah. Are they there now? No, they flew away one night. That's silly. Children can't fly. That's right, they did. And they landed on a wonderful island and had many adventures. There were pirates and Indians and all sorts of creatures in the forest. Right but the children begin to miss their mother and their father. Do I have a mother and a father? Of course not. That's why you're a lost boy. What happened to the children? Oh, they, they? they decided that they wanted to fly back to their nursery. But what if the window was closed and locked? <coughs> Maybe <coughs> <they don't know. coughs> But the girl who was the oldest knew in her heart that their mother would always leave the window open because she knew that her children would be coming back. That was a splendid story, Wendy. I wonder if there was a window open waiting for me. Stuff it, nonsense. Peter, what is it? You look terribly ill. You're wrong about mothers, Wendy. Wendy, like you, I thought that my mother would leave the window open, so I flew away and stayed away for moons and moons and moons. But when I got back, the window was closed and locked, and there was another boy sleeping in my bed. Hope to die. Wendy, let's go home. I want to go too. Yes, we will. But not tonight. <coughs> we'll leave at once. Mother's probably sure we're never coming back there now. Peter, will you please make the necessary arrangements? If you wish. What are you so happy about, Pink? Oh, be quiet. You can't go, Wendy. It will be so much worse than if we leave now. We know what it's like to have a mother. Please don't leave us. Who will tell us stories? Who will cook us fish pie? We ought to wash our faces and hands with them. Are you sure it's going to be open? I don't have to work in my ears. You are. I think that's a great idea. 
idea, Tuto. But what's Peter going to say? Just, no, say, oh. Oh. No. Oh, it's not your business. Just because you can't doesn't mean we all have to. She's the only mother we've ever had. There. Now you both explain. Three, two, one. Hey, wait. What are you doing? Thank you. 